and good morning. Okay, so last night I slept really well. It got down to, I think, 42 in the van. So I have my big blanket, I have a, a wool blanket, and then I have my little blanket here. But um, all in all, pretty good night. And today I'm gonna get out and get to adventure. So that's a good change of pace from yesterday where I just took a kind of chill day. So with that said, it's time to get moving. Okay, out we go for the day. And I see something already. Oh, immediately I need sunglasses. And my poor lips are so chapped from being out and about. This is gonna be an interesting day. Okay, we'll start it off by organizing, taking down window shades, and uh, had a little bit of condensation, so I'll wipe everything down with the Norwex. Ooh, okay, so this is gonna be an interesting start to the day. It feels nice outside, very different than yesterday. So uh, it's a little chilly still. Have my hoodie on and uh, yeah, I think I need to go to the library. I need to go to the grocery store. I want to take a small hike today, but I'm at a pretty high altitude also today. So I'm gonna take it a little slower just because the lungs are lunging today, but I do have something for that. So I'll probably take it with me on my hike. This guy, air. Um, I picked these up whenever I was in high altitude a while back and I just kind of keep one in the van now. It really does help, especially considering, you know, whenever you go from low altitude to high altitude really quickly, sometimes your lungs have a little bit of a harder time, especially if you're congested. So uh, this will go on my hike and uh, might take a couple other things too. So I'll put together my pack before I go and do that, I guess. And um, I'll probably show you that hike on its own video just so you can kind of see the beauty of the area. But for now, getting the van ready. I've got several things I need to move around. I need to go dump my trash. I need to find how I want to plug in all my stuff because I haven't really done a full charge while on the road with this configuration. So uh, all those things are things I have to do before I head out. Since I'm gonna be heading out, I'm gonna go ahead and start the van so it can start to charge my batteries because one of them finally died. Okay, since that's charging, now I can organize. Okay, I think I have everything kind of cleaned up. Um, I've kind of looked around. I don't see any trash or anything. So I think I'm in pretty good shape. Always leave it better than you found it. I may come back to this spot. I may go to a different one. I'm not sure. So I picked up all my stuff and uh, it's time for us to go into town, I think. Oh, this lip thing's gonna be a bummer. My lips just feel super, super dry. I have some stuff that I've been putting on it, but wow, too much sun on the lips. Ugh. Go figure, I change lip products and this is what happens. I have this one charging on the DC out of the front, and then I have my larger power station charging in the back, so this should be good. I need to do some windshield wiping. Oh, nope, that's all inside. Okay, super fun. Super, super fun. I could wipe it down, but that ends up leaving streaks, so I'm not going to. Um, I'm just gonna let it hang out for a few minutes, and that's fine. That'll give me a time to kind of figure out where I'm going um, whenever I go hiking in a little bit. I think I have an idea, but um, this will allow me to really kind of figure out which one's gonna be best. I think I'm just gonna take an easy trail, again, because my lungs are completely acclimated, but there's a really pretty one that's not that far away, so I think that one will be a good one to go on. Now, I am gonna go ahead, even though it says easy, and wear my hiking boots, though, because the grip on some of the rocks and things is just way better. So I've already pulled those out and set them in the back so I can put them on in a moment. So uh, I'm almost there. I'm almost to that functional space. Yesterday was really good though. I'm glad that I stayed in the van while it was raining and just really took that time for me. I needed that a lot. Now, one of the things that I have noticed with the van now that I don't have a curtain is that there is a lot of space that you can see back into my van and I do not love that. So I may end up fixing a temporary curtain 
whenever I'm out of the van. I'm not sure yet. I do like the blinds in the front. It really opens up the space a lot, but having the ability to like not have everything on full display is still something that I would be interested in. So maybe I'll just do a clip curtain whenever I'm out away. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, the curtain and I have an ongoing struggle as you can see, but um, it kind of is what it is. Okay guys, I made it out to the hatchery. If you haven't seen my video about the Leadville hatchery before, go check it out, I'll link it. But um, yeah, the trail I'm doing today leads out from here. So I have a nice spot to park dimples and uh, this is only like a mile, I think, a mile and a half. So it shouldn't be too bad. It was a super good hike. I got to talk to this like older man who had a dog and uh, we talked for quite a while. But uh, it's really nice to be able to come out to places and just see friendly people on the trails and the views. Oh, the views. Oh, I showed you a couple on this video, but definitely go check out the full video. It's worth it. Okay, back to charging and on to town we go. Rolling through Leadville right now. I love this place. It's such a beautiful little community. They have all of these really nice older buildings. And this is a perfect day to be here. The sun is out shining. This is awesome. Now, if you are interested in seeing a little bit more of the Leadville area, make sure you check out some of my older videos. They're in my Colorado playlist. I've been to a lot of cool things here and I think you guys would really like it. So. For now though, I'm off to go to the store, I'm going to go get some gas, and then I'm going to go to the library probably to borrow a little bit of internet. Okay, it looks like we're all finished now, so. 2835. Ooh, okay, now it's time to go across the street to Safeway. Okay, I'm at the library. I'm using some Wi Fi to download all my things and check my channel. And then I'm going back out to camp, I think. Okay, I made it to camp. This isn't the same spot, but it's a good spot, just the same. So, yeah. I'm like one side over from where I was yesterday. I didn't quite get everything finished that I needed to do today, but I got a lot done and I had that good hike this morning. So all in all, I think that's pretty good. So now I'm gonna put my windows up and uh, kind of get organized. Okay, I think everything's kind of organized. Probably gonna plug my computer in and do a little bit more work. I already picked up some food. <sighs> Otherwise, I'm tired. Again, the altitude is doing a number on my lungs, so I'm taking it a little bit slower than I normally would, but today was a very good work day. The hike was amazing. And now I'm ready for some cozy time. Currently 68 degrees in the van, which is perfect. I did, however, have one little blunder. Whenever I was going down the road, I hit something really big, like a big railroad track, and these came off. So they're really good, but they still are not perfect, which is, you know, to be expected. We're in a van. All in all, though, not too bad. So with that said, remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time, and I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for just this random little day. I'm starving. So I think I'm gonna get my computer started and uh, start to eat something. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>